Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. I know this is a super weird way. The guy in the car in front of me is staring at me. Super weird way to start the vlog. I look super super crazy, but I decided to jump right in. I am going to I don't know if I should tell you. Ooh. I'm going somewhere very, very far. I have two flights and probably when it's all said and done in about like 17 hours of flying. So this morning's kind of been chaotic. I went, I worked out, I did some homework. I it's really all I've accomplished today but um I'm currently at Walmart need to get some stuff I've been on a keto diet which I haven't told you guys about and I'm thinking of filming that kind of journey but I'm not 100% sure if you're interested in comment down below but yeah I'm at Walmart I'm getting some snacks for the plane I haven't packed I have laundry that needs to be folded I need to buy these snacks I need to like look presentable and it is 6 44 p.m weird time to start the vlog and my flight is at 157 so i need to be at the airport probably around like oh 12 a.m so i need to be at the airport probably around 11 or why not 11 so i have like three hours before i need to leave the house and i have still so much to do so i'm gonna take you guys with me pray for me let's go so i have some ginger chews which helps like if i ever get a little nauseous or if you're under the weather with the time change, jet lag, or just it being a long flight. I've got tons of quest bars for while I'm there. And then I have throat comfort. That one's kombucha, vitamin C, emergency, and a tally sweetener. Then I have peanuts and sunflower seeds from the like peanuts. And cheese sticks to kind of just snack on. And then on that, it's just so I'm now at the Atlanta airport. It is pretty empty because it's so late. I'm all packed. Security was a mess. There was no one there, but I had to take out all my food, all my electronics, even though I have pre-check, and that just took forever. And then trying to stuff everything back in my bag after I spent so much time getting it to fit in this bag. Just ordeals and have over deals. But we have made it. We have arrived. And boarding should be starting in like 20 minutes or so so I was really cutting it close finished my homework and you'll know where we're going soon enough it is currently what time 5 45 you think like 5 45 in the morning we've made it to south korea and we have one more flight that leaves in about four hours no yeah right three hours no four <laughs> it's four we've got a little airport sit time but it's good we're here we're early we're well rested Bus debacles, <laughs> fighting people for <laughs> the bus lines. It's just a lot going on. We made it.
currently at the night market. I have this green tea juice box, which is delicious, and chicken on a stick. I was in croquet for also fried in like keto. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the gym this morning. I've decided to work out on vacation. I'm trying to be team no days off and work out. Can we talk about a view though? It is day two in Taipei. Got my coffee. We're heading out to go get some food. I've already worked out. Um, done a midterm and gotten ready, did some pamper me stuff. Gonna do more because we're getting massages today. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Here's the view from here. And we're getting breakfast. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see. Hi. Hi, that's wrong language. <laughs> just finished exploring a mall and now I'm getting this ice cream like it's like a waffle and then it's getting filled with ice cream which I'm really excited to try it's my little cheek because I worked out so hard today Taipei. I'm heading to go get a massage and maybe my nails done. Uh, everyone's really nice here. Going up all these stairs, workouts. <sighs> but give you guys a little view so you can see what I'm working with. Very neat. And yeah. Also, I didn't get a chance to show you guys my OOTD. This shirt is Gap, just a general tank top. These shorts are Topshop. And this bag I actually got in Vienna. So I just got my massage and it was actually really good but it was also one of the most aggressive massages I've ever gotten. I have a lot of like tight knots in my back so he was definitely like doing his all to work it out but geez Louise that was painful. Like if I get a bruise I would not be surprised but I also do feel a lot better because I had a lot of pain on the plane. I've had pain walking around and stuff so hopefully this will solve it all. Right now I don't hurt. So that's good. But I was like, ole moles. So I've made it to by the Taipei Zoo where they have the gondola ride. Oh wait, hold on, see if you guys. There's a gondola. And it's about a 30 minute ride. So they do go in both directions. We have ticket in hand. And we're gonna go all the way from. We are here to the Macon station. Let's do this. Thank you. Gondoling, whatever you call it, over some different scenes. 
it's warm, which is really good. Because I was afraid of these things being super cool. I got my massage, so I am relaxed. This is a good, good night. Yes. It's really dark, though. So we're at the first stop if you want to get off. It's the second part of the zoo. Apparently, the Taipei Zoo, I think, is the biggest zoo in all of Asia. So, we've gone the last two stops for it. I'm drinking it all the way to the last stop, which is the Malcolm Station. And there, they're supposed to have, like, a tea place. So, I think I might stop up and actually get tea. And I'm trying to get some city views, but it's dark, you guys. And, like, I can see it really well, but it doesn't show up on camera that great. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. This thing is so fast. Jesus Christ. I did see this from above. Now I'm in the city just kind of walking around. See mine. There's tons of tea houses. I keep passing. Macomb. 